All right, so I'm back at porting the head. I want to show you what I'm using to port the head. This is a Milwaukee cordless die grinder. I'll tell you what, it's working a lot better than my air does. My air gets a little out of hand. It gets like over RPM'd. This is probably going to shake a bit once I start grinding on it with my phone, kind of like this. Now, what I'm trying to do right now is get a little bit more out of this bowl on the back side towards the short turn. And it's kind of squaring it off. I'm not going to show you that just yet. But what I'm trying to do is keep the die grinder at the same angle as the valve goes. And I'm just trying to cut it straight in. What you got is the where the seat's at, where the valve goes. And I'm trying to get as close as I can all the way around that. All right, after getting in there, I used a pick to kind of judge where the metal was at. I got up under this and I could feel it. So I'm good all through here to get it up to there. However, the short turn on these 950 heads, there is not a lot of metal on the bottom side of them. I mean, you can get your finger in there and feel it. And there's just not a lot. So that's more or less going to get this treatment. I'll smooth the radius out to it. And then um, we're going to finish the rest of the bowl and make her shine. Then uh, we'll start in on the other end of the port. I uh, start taking a little bit out around the guide on the top end, smoothing it out. I'll show you as we go. I got a new camera to do this with. I don't have it set up to my phone to, to clock it on and off. And I need to mount it to a hat. So it's going to be a little bit of trial and error. But I'm going to show you what we got going on here. I'm going to uh, keep going around. I don't know if you can see it right here, but you see I nicked that. The seat's right here. So if, if you get any nicks, I mean, you can always redo the seats, but you're only going to get them down so far and you start screwing yourself. So any little nicks like that are fine. I plan on getting that out anyways because of where it's at. And we're going to just keep going around this. Right now I'm going right here. I'm almost where I want to be, but not quite. Let me dot go with the die grinder and you can see I'm not taking the die grinder and just mashing into it I'll get into it a little bit but I like to go nice and smooth stroke so if you don't have a whole lot of patience it's probably ain't something you want to do but we'll see you might like it you might not You gotta watch that seat. Don't turn into it or nothing. If you go pressing real hard, you'll get a lot of metal quick, but you'll end up screwing yourself. So just nice, easy stroke. And this thing's awesome because I don't have air here, and it grinds just perfect. And it's nice and smooth, like my air grinders always seem to vary. I always had a, a long reach Matto half horse for it, and I don't know, it, it just gets going way too fast and swing metal everywhere. This is really nice, it's just nice and easy. Oh, and I've got the 9.0 battery on the back. Which makes it a little awkward to hold on this, but it ain't the worst thing in the world. I just kind of set it on my chest, which I can't show you why I'm doing this. There's a lot of metal got to come out to get it where I want it. And it's solid metal right there, so I'm not worried about hitting water. Do your best to figure out where your water's at. So you're not cracking into it, busting the head, because then you're just going to be mad. Honestly, how I learned was back in the 90s, was with a, this is going to sound funny, but a Dremel and crack heads. And then I worked my way up to a die grinder. Just in the garage. The internet was not new, but it was still new, you know what I mean? And I was, built a lot of Oldsmobiles back then. And it was nice. Uh, these are getting ported kind of like how you do the Oldsmobiles, raising the port, 
trying to adjust the line of sight. So it's always about the line of sight. I'm probably within a quarter inch of that seat right now. Let me give you a better look. Now, if you can see, I'm just kind of taking it. I'd already started in on the short turn a little bit, right here. So you'll see that lip, and then you see the new lip I'm making above it. And I'll just transition them nice and easy and make it flow right around. It, uh, like I said, I started taking a little out of here. I found there's a little excess metal so I can raise this port a bit here because it's more of a choke point at this turn, at, at the short turn. And this turn, since I want to raise the port anyways, I need this all to come up with it and make a nice transition out. And then it'll flow a lot better.
if you haven't noticed, it's all of a, a feeling game. You're constantly putting your fingers in there, you know. I know what I'd normally say here, but this is YouTube. It, uh, it's nice and flat in there right now, so I'm going to just kind of guide this around here in a minute. At another angle. Because we're getting there. Right now, when you reach in there, you're going to feel that where the it's nice and flat, but it's a short turn, so you, you want a radius to it. So what we're going to do, the same thing, farther in, but it's all about control. Like I said, if you've got no control, this probably isn't for you, but also there's only one way to learn it, is keep doing it. So if you're that guy or gal, and you want your Ford, your Chrysler, your GM, whatever you got, either spend the money and have somebody else do it, or learn it. I find more satisfaction in doing it myself. Because then nobody else made the power. I made it. Well, the engine did it, but I get it to produce, make it more functional, more dynamic. All right, I'm going to be doing videos all day. I got somebody coming by to help me with my new camera. That way uh, I can just mount it on a hat. And you guys can look right down where I'm looking and we can just go like that.